All right, next up, British twins go training with the Korean army commandos. Yes, I need some motivation, son. Make me wanna go outside with some ammo cans and run around and then grab the neighbor and throw him over my shoulder and then run a mile. That's what I need right now. Ooh! Let's do this. So military service is obviously really big in Korea, especially for the guys. Um, but we have never actually had a chance to experience it. Well, until now. We thought the twins would be perfect for this because they're really competitive, they're really active. Obviously Major Charles is kind of a badass in the British Army. And they're up for anything. But it turns out, because Major Charles is a Major, it's a little bit complicated to take him to a foreign army yeah, base. Yeah, yeah. Stop holiday. So I knew I was going to set up a career with you guys, which is an absolute wonderful, wonderful experience. You're like, oh, we just got this idea about, you know, going on a Korean army base. I'm like, hold the phone. <laughs> <laughs> you want me, as a British military officer, to go on a South Korean army base, and you're telling me this now? There's a few phone calls I have to make. How high up do we have to take it? So, I'm not saying ministerial level, but it was pretty close. <laughs> Obviously, we had to get permission from the Korean military to go there to an army base and film. And they agreed to let us film on a Korean army base. What we thought would just... So, I'll answer your question because somebody's asking it. And if anybody either now in the chat or in the comments later want to add to this or modify this because it can change per country, per military, even down to per unit. The question was, why? Why would it be an issue if you go to another military base as a military officer, if it's a foreign military base? Well, the reason is, well, one, the filming is a whole different aspect, but outside of the filming, which they obviously already have permission for, it becomes a question of you are, um, well, one, yes, which countries are friendly, but even allied countries, you want to let your people in charge know what you are doing and why you are doing it. If, for example, and I'll just pull a hypothetical out of my pants, okay? If, if I were an active duty Marine again, and I and I'm a you know a sergeant. So if I go on a a vacation, I take which you don't really have vacations, but let's say I take a long weekend, and then I go to South Korea for the weekend, and I'm on a military base, and then I get back, and my higher ups, my leaders, find out that I, as an American military sergeant, were over in another military base in another country, and they don't know why. That raises some questions. Hmm. Who were you talking to? Why were you there? Because even allied countries, even though they have the same goals, the same, you know, whatever, like we can get really, really deep with this stuff, but it's pretty simple. There's still things that I don't want friends to know that we do, how we work, what our strategies are. There's a lot of stuff that you got to keep wrapped up. And I don't want some loosey goosey going somewhere else and just saying a bunch of stuff, even if they don't have malintent. Yeah, OPSEC, operational security. So that's kind of why. And you think, well, this guy's a nice guy. He's not going to say anything. That's not the point. It has nothing to do with personality. This is absolutely as simple as we keep everything locked up tight because even accidents happen. Loose lips sink ships. Absolutely happens. So you got to know where your people are and what they're doing and who they're talking to because uh, the world is a very scary and dangerous and unpredictable place. Even when you are amongst friends sometimes. The one video turns out we filmed quite a lot. And I should actually mention, we're actually going to uh, their commando unit. Oh, so, classic. 
So oh. it's the oh yeah, it's the Korean equivalent. Nice, oh. nice. Wow, nice. we can kind of see how it's different. It sounds great. So, do we get a badge? <laughs> <laughs> One day's training, Chris, does not make you a commando. <laughs> Maybe we can get Chris a turtleneck badge. Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of excited though, you know. You guys are gonna have great fun. It'll be hard work, but it'll be fun. It'll be exciting, and I think we'll all be a little bit closer at the end. Do you remember we were trying to find it on Google? And no, it was like, it was not there's nothing here. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, this is legit. Yeah. And then we come to that roundabout, and it's like a leopard. Oh, yeah. And that's, whoa, is that the that's leopard? That's their symbol, right? Mate, that guy has a freaking grenade launcher on his My gun. Days. You seen that? The first thing they did, actually, was they put, like, a hood over our camera in the car and they were like you got to black out the faces of the guards if they were the leopards i yeah. already felt like a warthog all right all right yeah. see this is the perfect opportunity to share this with you those guys you just saw in the field that are running down the field with giant tires strapped to their backs they're around the waist and they're running with these tires dragging on the ground. Perfect segue. I got in trouble for this with my chiropractor, referencing the last episode, because he was like, bro, what are you doing? You're not in the military anymore. Why are you running a mile every day with a friggin' tire with a rim strapped to your back? I'm trying to stay in shape, bro. That's how we do it. Stop it. You are not 19. Get your shit together. Rude. You're fired as my chiropractor. Support me. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's got a big tire at the back. All right. All right, all right. All right, all right. Hey, Vinny. Right, all right. Good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Charles is fine. The rest of us are a bit freaked out. That just happened. Yeah. I was like, crap, we are out of depth. Charles is like immediately, I've never seen him more comfortable. He's like a fish back in water. Ever. No. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, no. 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 Yeah. Nice to meet you. 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 By the way, a full colonel saying hello to us. Big deal. He was nice. He was head of the garrison, mm. head of the camp. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Suddenly, like, we're there, and I'm like, holy crap. We're not prepared for this. Yeah. We're not like a big TV show with a big crew. We're flipping a YouTube crew. Fit in one car. Yeah. We're going We're there. noobs. We're noobs. We're noobs. Wow. And we're noobs. on an army base and we have no idea what we're about to do. Yeah. They had this whole schedule planned out, so organized. And I was like, yeah. okay, you know, we just follow their schedule. It's going to be fine. And then as soon as that meeting finished, he was like, time to start yeah. the training. And we were like, whoa, now, now we, we just arrived. He was like, yeah, no. Kit on, we're doing a fitness circuit. So I was like, okay, I know fitness circuits. And then they paired us up with the youngest, fittest people on the camp. Of course they oh, did. Yeah, yeah. Now, let me give you some reference because this is why we do this. Oh, When they say they paired us up with the youngest, fittest people in the unit, whatever, I'll give you a point of reference. When I was active, if we wanted to complete a physical fitness test with a max score, we had to do 100 sit-ups in two minutes. We had to do 20 dead hang pull-ups, arms all the way extended, all the way down, hold. Okay, go. Chin over the bar, all the way back down, one. Got to do 20 of those. And then you have to run three miles in less than 18 minutes. That is a perfect physical fitness test score, perfect PFT score. That is your, let's just say that's your average soldier, okay? These guys you see right here are not gonna be your average soldier. So there's a good chance in the, the metaphor that I'm giving you, these guys are 
doing 150 sit-ups in two minutes. They're doing 30 dead hang pull-ups and they're running three miles in like 16 minutes. They're gonna be the absolute rock stars in their units. Hopefully that helps you gauge what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you, Ming. This is my my battery, my uh, my company. When I saw you guys walking out, I was like, "Do not embarrass the UK." <laughs> yeah, totally. Well, I know what we're getting into, and you guys are not ready. Oh, you don't think we're ready? No, you need to get changed. You need to get out these things. Whoa, look at that. That's the bear crawl. Oh, the, the bear crawl. What is a bear crawl? Oh, can you wow. tell them that I faint very yeah. easily? <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> So are we going okay. in pairs? So yeah, we're going in pairs. Ah, so we're together. Uh, oh, nice. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Crap, now we have to actually keep up. Yeah. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Chris, you're first. Go for it. Here we go. That circuit was good circuit. And they do that like three times a day. It's similar to the UK stuff that we do. It was an intense circuit. Bear Yo, this bear crawl, this is my specialty. Everybody does the bear crawl like this. Everybody but me. I'm that asshole that runs on all fours like a jaguar. If you've ever seen the movie The Animal with Rob Schneider, which don't if you haven't, it could kill you. It's a terrible movie. But there's a point where he runs like a human and then gets down on all fours and then literally just like that. That's how I do it. Even at 43 and a biggin, I can still move. This is one of my specialties. Cool. He's very wow. quick. <laughs> He's running quick. <laughs> Chris can't give up. Higher, higher. Yeah. Higher, like bro. Your chest, you know. okay. I'm dying already. How many did you do? About 100. Okay. <laughs> Oh. I'm really glad they knew that most of us didn't speak Korean. They didn't like shout at us in Korean and like freaking give us no mercy. They were really patient. Charles just goes on that circuit. Yeah. And I'm like, he's a machine. Flipping blitz. It's unbelievable. Is it? He was so much stronger, so much fitter than all of us, including Chris. Oh. Nice. Oh, you don't have to. Little. Just the guy. He's fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, OK. Oh, oh, the floor did. I took it. Oh, I took it. Oh, 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 Keep it moving! Don't give up now! Oh, man! Okay. Do you need a CPR? <laughs> this guy's too fit! That's one that. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Barra! Yeah! Wow! Oh, so that poor! Oh, I'm not going to That circuit represented a, a number of different exercises yeah. that you would need your body to be prepared for if you were going to go out the door uh, and do an operation. Holy nice. moly. I didn't sign up for this. Okay, that was a dress. Let's go. Yes. Yeah, you can do it. See, this is this is the perfect example. This is a good life lesson for the younger crew that are watching. There are times when you'll be asked to do something where you're like, I'm going to be terrible at this. Like, I'm not going to be as fast as my brother or I'm not as in shape as my brother and I'm going to look like a bozo. Here's how you win that situation. You give it everything you got. You do the best that you can. You don't make excuses. You just go for it. That's it. That's how you win. People will not judge you based on what you can do, but how you do it. So if you're that one that comes in last, but you still came in, that's a win. That's character. Perfect example. The, the last Olympics that just took place, the marathon, 
the last person, it's like four hours. The last person, the last place was like four hours. There was a whole crowd waiting for her when she came. And she was hurting. But she finished. And it didn't matter that she was last. It was just that she finished. Huge opportunity here. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. We don't want you to get a heart attack. Yeah. Take your time. Me neither. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You came out and gone. Tom and go out there. Sorry. You then. Tom. Yeah. Yeah. 26. 27. 38. 39. 30. We have another round. No. We have right. another round. No. Oh, man, that was that was really tough. This guy is really fit. Put it up. Yeah. You have another round. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Please. No. He tried. That was good, man. That was good. My man's good. We were great. Man, it was good. I'm bucking up. That was one set. Oh, He's like, and more. We go again. We go again. <sighs> Man, this guy isn't even out of breath. Yeah. <laughs> we caught up with Chris just saying. Oh, whatever. Did you actually? Yeah. yeah. He did. Yeah. Wow. Flipping hack. I did not expect <sighs> that. That was like from zero to a hundred. Yeah. Like we had no warm up. Instantly. <laughs> that was the warm up, I think, mate. <laughs> oh. oh. One set? Yeah. No, no we're going one again. One more. We'll go one again. more. Yeah, one more. This is hard. This is hard. This is crazy hard. I literally ah. think I might be sick. Are you serious? You're getting more that serious. Sucks. Your tone is changing. <laughs> if you're just standing up, was like, I'm 100% going to fit yep. the on this. Do you reckon? Do you reckon you're going to go? I'm nearly going now. Are you serious? I'm, seri I'm deadly serious. <laughs> and then we did a competition where what Charles and I raced you guys. How did that, that go? How did that go for you guys? <laughs> I'm relying on you, Charles. Yeah. Hey guys, you guys have to do it properly or it's no count. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Cheers. Just go. 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 Now, everything you see right here is a perfect example of why, for the most part, things like CrossFit are incredibly popular. It's called functional fitness. It's very different from bodybuilding and weightlifting, where you're just very... It works very different from functional fitness. Go, go, go. Go, go, go! Get it, Chris. 10 more, 10 more. 10, 10, 10. And 30. Still tiny. That was awesome. You remember the time, Captain? All right. You ready for round three? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, can we just take a moment before Josh and Ollie start? Like, that was legit. Both Chris and Charles, badass. Never stopped, kept going, made it to the end. Hell yeah. Come on, Ollie. Chris got the nice guy. Yeah. yeah. I got the guy who was yeah. like, you're doing the burpees wrong. You know. Start again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Look out, look out. Come on. 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 Come on.
Just throw up, just go, do it. The training they set up, brutal. I vomited. So they... <laughs> nice. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's, it's going to be in the video, so I might as well yeah. just own yeah. up to it, yeah. I vomited. Yeah. It's just proof I was working hard. You know, if you're not trying, That's don't make mistakes. That's true. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm so happy that we're not doing it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've definitely beat their time. Yeah, we've already beaten their time. Have we? Yeah. Easy. <laughs> yes! Come on! Come on! I was so sure we were going to win for like the first 10 seconds. Somebody told me once, and I'll never forget this as long as I live. If you're, if you're doing something like this, right, there's always a battle between the mind and the body. If you start throwing up, you start getting dizzy, you start whatever, like you start going through some, whew, I'm not feeling so great. It means your, your mind is winning. Your mind is something like that. It's how, it's how they put it in the moment. And I was a little out of it. So that's probably why I don't remember it verbatim. But here's the thing, right? We can talk about this from a military perspective. The soju is happening now. You're watching it. We can talk about this from a military perspective. And I can tell you, it doesn't matter what you're going through. It's bigger than you. Go take that hill. Okay. But the reality is for most of us, as everyday humans walking around, if you start feeling not so great, that's probably a sign that something is wrong. Maybe you should sit your ass down and take a breath, take a drink of water. Like it's a, it's two different worlds, right? So even me, as I sit here and we, we watch this with the show and talk about mindset and mentality and never give up and always finish. That's great. However, most of us, most of us are not currently in positions where this is really a thing that we need to account for. We're not endurance athletes. We're not ultra athletes. We're not competitive in any kind of way, really, where we need to risk our lives. So, you know, if I were to th get motivated by this, throw on a friggin' tire and go running down the street because now I'm suddenly inspired and motivated. If I start feeling like ass, I need to stop and sit down and take a moment because I'm 43. And not to say that's an old man, but the point is I am not 19. Chest pain at 43 is entirely different at 19. And the reality is that you don't learn until you're 43 or older is that chest pain is never good. It doesn't matter what age you are, it's just bad. So I've thrown a lot of conflicting information at you. This is just my creative way of saying, don't take medical advice from some guy on YouTube. I hope this conversation has helped. <laughs> Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. minutes. Oh, I felt like an, an hour. hour. Three charts. Six minutes. Wow. wow. Two minutes. Nice.
Nice. And I was like, we already know who's going to win. He's a commando. <laughs> Bloody commando and a genetically identical twin yeah. to the commando. Whose boss is literally God. <laughs> 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 What's the you reckon, Nail? Two thirty-seven? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Oh. The commando got six minutes with his brother. The record for the course is two minutes and thirty-seven seconds. Oh wow! Wow! So good. Good job. My days. That was the warm-up. Right. Sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Now on to the assault course. Yes. Oh, man. You ready? No. <laughs> Let's do it! After the circuit, you guys were like, okay, that's clearly got to be the end of the fizz for today. And I was thinking, mm, it's probably not the end of it. That was only like 20 minutes. Yeah. We've probably got a few more hours in this yet. Charles in the know. And then, <laughs> sure enough, we get escorted through a little forest block up to what can be described as some kind of serious assault course. Yeah, the assault course. It's a serious assault course. Oh, yes. Oh, what the heck is oh. that? We're doing that. Yeah, we are. Wow, there's an ambulance and there's an ambulance. <laughs> literally right there. Oh my gosh. This is so fun. Oh, this is so fun. Are you enjoying? Oh, fast roping. Yeah. 